If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top five best NCAT most of your players to be choosing because you guys do get like eight to the community's a little confused, right? Based on what we saw yesterday, because it wasn't exactly clarified, we seem like we're getting anywhere between eight and 10 end cap players because there's at least from the there's the objective list there's like three or four from solos there's an auctionable which i'll throw into the end cat right like total there's the yard there's going to be the house rules i don't know all in all there was a ton of free players you can get so let me rank my top five now why am i doing top five that pretty much means anyone beyond the top five i really don't like too much now if you have to for whatever reason take more of them because you there's just so many of them but remember guys there may only be like it's only so here's the thing there's eight to ten free ones but there's only eight release 190s that's the key though release two and release three may have another five to eight again another five to eight again so when all said and done you may have an you may have a, a player pool anywhere between 15 and 20 players which is why which i will do another rankings video next week if they do end up dropping a whole nother set of you know 90 overall players right but nonetheless before we get into the, we get into the video make sure to hit that subscribe button turn the audio bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course you're into the channel comment down below let me know what's up if you guys need coins for today's promo, head on down below to my sponsor, guys. Some of the cheapest coins on the internet, if not the cheapest, especially if you use my code Poodle at checkout. So make sure to go use that. Hook up your squad. Check out the most of your promo. There's so much to do. But guys, nonetheless, let's get into the rankings. Coming in at number five on the list, we're going to get Leighton Vander Esch. Now, why is he number five? Why is he not lower? Why is he not higher, right? Here's the thing. He's a middle linebacker, which in most situations means he's going to be near the back of the rankings. Not because of his status, not because of his stats, not because of his height, not because of his abilities, but because he's a middle linebacker. And people really just don't like middle linebackers. And I agree. I mean, I play even like it's not just mutt. Like I play franchise too. Isaiah Simmons, for instance, at safety is a beast. Isaiah Simmons at linebacker is dar is garbage. And why is this? Safeties get balls thrown at them, and it's always a pick. They it's always a pick. At linebacker, it's never a pick. Like I've seen balls thrown right at right at my user, and I can't pick it. It's so frustrating. You pretty much need lurker for linebackers to be able to jump, which is super stupid. Because like, I like, and, and it's one thing I have. I have a Owe, how do you say his name for the Ravens? He's six foot five, ninety speed, and he gets balls thrown right at him. He's huge. Can't get the pick. It's impossible. So Leighton Van Der Esch is going to be suffering from the middle linebacker plant seed in the ground, plant in the ground tree. Right. That's going to be the problem. Otherwise, he's not horrible. I mean, eighty eight speed, ninety excel. Decent athleticism. Now here's the key, right? These are NCAT cards. So you want to realize too is that these cards will be stuck on your team. You can't sell them. So people hate linebackers, right? Maybe you don't even have maybe you have guy like I had gold linebackers on my team. Like maybe you don't even have any linebackers since you don't use them. So what you do is you take Layton and increases your overall. It is, right? Like my my take on it is this. You have to increase your overall to complete certain camp chancellor objectives, to get certain things in the game, or just to look better, right? But you don't want to spend money on linebackers, you're not gonna use them. If you have eight free ones that you're getting right or plus take take a free late and just throw them in there throw them as your linebacker too increase your overall and then again if you ever actually get when you like like a ray lewis most feared that comes out let's just say put measure two not the end of the world he has above 80 zone above 80 hit power above 90 tackle he's a decent card i mean he's not bad and like i said he's good to fit a position that no one likes to pay for this guy's have xavier rhodes cornerback for the colts now xavier rhodes the reason he actually would have been higher if he had better coverage but in the day here again why he is where he is He's a depth position. You can have up to four to five corners, right, um, that you want to use. Because of that, you'll never find yourself in a position where, like, oh, I can't get a new cornerback. I have Xavier Rhodes right now. If you took a Nat quarterback, quarterback, for instance, you're like, well, I want the new guy. That guy's done. Never playing my team. He lasted two weeks, right? Xavier Rhodes, I'll say right now, he's your number two corner overall-wise, right? In a week or two, you get this most fear, Jay Alexander, right? He's your third cornerback. Then it... By November, you get this Thanksgiving cornerback. Now, Xavier Rhodes is your fourth cornerback, but it's now been two promos, and he's still making your lineup, right? It's not bad. Um, 90 speed, 90 excel. He'll get 90 agility. He'll get 91 speed powered up. 89 press, 89 play rec, 88 man, 88, 87 zone. He gets close, like, with 93 jumping, too. Like, he gets really close to being a really locked down corner. He just, quite, he just misses it, which is on purpose, probably. But that's my fourth guy. Next, we have Corey Davis. Now, the thing with Corey Davis similar to xavier Rose, he's a dead position so it's not a position where you're kind of stuck with him like an end or you know a right end or somewhere where you're kind of like you kind of either have him or you don't he's a wide receiver 
powered up, he gets 91 speed. So that's that's, that's usable speed. He's six foot three. He'll have 89 jumping, 88 catching, 89 catching traffic, 89 spec. They really did really good with making sure they wouldn't hit 90 in a lot of things. 85 short, 87 medium, but he gets the 89 deep, which means you'll get 90 deep out running powered up. So he'll have the 91 deep, he'll have the 90 deep out running threshold with 91 speed at six foot three. He'll be a great deep threat. I mean, it's, it's what you're going to use him for anyways. So he could be your second receiver, your third receiver, your fourth receiver, even your fifth. You know, you want to go ahead and sell a guy on the auction block. That's fine. Move Corey Davis back up to your third or fourth and get him back into the lineup. He's not a bad option. He's a depth position. Another guy that can just be there and help your overall a little bit and always just kind of be able to be on the field as long as you don't have too many good wide receivers. And again, the thing with depth too that helps is, like I said, selling players. Let's say you buy a most feared Calvin Johnson. Right? Again, just all examples. You buy a most feared Calvin Johnson, 93 overall, 94 overall. You really like him. But he's going for a million coins because he's an LTD. And you're saying he's good, but he's not worth a million coins. You'd rather have the million because that's a lot of money to lose. But if you sell him, how are you going to play weekend league, right? Well, lucky for you, you could sell him. And because you had a Tyree kill and you had the old Calvin already, now you can move Corey Davis, let's say, in your lineup or something, right? Or you, or you had another watch. So you can move Corey Davis up your lineup back to your three. And he won't feel like you have a gaping hole with a gold or basically wide receiver. You can still slot in a decent like a usable wide receiver which is why depth's important too because you, you can feel comfortable selling players like some people don't sell players and lose a lot of coins as they drop in value because they don't they have no one to replace him and they don't want to be able to not compete online you fit Corey davis in you're probably losing a little bit percentage of you know performance but you're, you're still gonna be able to play the game next we have shaq mason guys i always put lineman high because you can't go wrong with lineman see some of the players are trash right like to it jonathan allen kind of Derek carr kind of garbage so shaq mason's a guy that guys it's a right guard it's a lineman. I think people hate buying linemen even more than they hate buying little linebackers. They don't even start middle linebackers. Linemen are the worst, right? So have you guys ever have you guys ever sat here one day and you had like a million something coins and you're like, I wanna, I wanna revamp my team, right? Like I wanna re I wanna make this old line great. So or something. So you go ahead, you buy yourself Larry Allen, right? For 250k and you're like, damn, but I can't just have one good lineman. I wanna stack that thing out and run well. Then you go ahead and you're like, let me let me stack the line out. After you buy an entire old line, you were short 1.3 million coins. Like every single good old line was like 250 piece, right? And you're like, wow, that was 1.25 million. Like, what am I doing? And that, and then the, the worst part is you just spent all your coins, right? Your offense still lacks a little bit. Your defense still lacks a little bit. All you did was increase five players and you can't even use them. Like linemen, you never get to use or You never get to juke with them. You never get to throw a ball at them. You never get to run with them. You never get to truck with them. They are AI controlled at all times. So it's like, where'd those coins go because you never noticed them at the end of the day they're just sitting, they're wearing your jerseys in front of you they're these big guys right so the feeling is horrible first off then it gets even worse because then you come out and they're they're insta shedding you they're running these glitch um you know meta defenses your run game you're getting stuck and you're like what did i pay for that is why ncat linemen are the best things because shaq mason will increase your overall he'll look good doing so on the o-line and the end of the day you won't have to pay for one he will just be there and you will equally have a good run game as much as you get insta shedded and run destroyed by good meta defenses or good users, right? I think it's a great option. He gets a, he gets a bunch of he gets a 90 run block, 90 run block power, uh, 90 pass block power. He gets up there in a lot of stuff. I like him. Number one overall, Jeremy Chin. You really can't go wrong with this guy. He's like six foot two or six foot three. He'll get 92 speed powered up, 91 excel. He gets the zone. He gets the zone threshold with 92 speed. Six foot three. It's, it's a no brainer. As a, he's a great user for starters because of his speed and height. He gets hit power, the zone threshold, the speed, and the height. And not to mention, guys, if you want to let him just roam and be alone, he gets the zone threshold with good speed and good height. So you can let him roam or be user, which that's what sucks. And you get a safety that can only be used. Like, he like he has bad zone and everything. Like, he has to be user. Like, let's say I basically say Simmons with, like, 92 speed, no zone, 81 hit power. Like, you got to use him. Chin could be left alone or user. So, like, you know, if it looks like a run shell and you don't want to sit back at safety, you want to be up there at the linebacker or something, you can do so. If you, if you, want, to, if you want to be able to use him in the box, you can do so. He's great at everything. I really like this Jeremy Chin card. He would probably be my number one pick. Well, he will be my number one pick. That's the guy that I put there for a reason. I'm saying for you guys, he should probably be your number one pick. But again, if you have, you know, you already have um, Sean Taylor and you have another NAT safety or you want to get the Ed Reed, I can see the problem with wanting him. But otherwise, guys, he's really good. That's about it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.